Hello, my name's John, this is my Ogryn Plague Zombie conversion, and you're watching War Games Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome back to part two of this Plague Zombie conversion based on an Ogryn model. In this video I'm going to do some sculpting with some green stuff, primarily on the arm and the mouth of the Ogryn. If I zoom in, you'll see I've carved away a chunk of the Ogryn's chin and mouth, which I want to re-sculpt for this model. And then, as seen in the last video, the arm was chopped off. I'm going to sculpt a section on there. Now, if you haven't seen the last video, I'll leave a link in the description. But for now, what I'm going to start doing is a little bit of sculpting. So I am planning to do quite a few Plague Zombie conversions. So, like I said in the last video, if you want to see any of them, please drop a comment. And what I'm going to do with the mouth of this Ogryn, I'm just going to plug it with some green stuff. And then I'm going to sculpt the detail into it. So what I want to do is start to sculpt it hanging open. So it's going to look like kind of a gaping maw. What I'm looking to do is just blend it in on the sides so it matches into the rest of the Ogryn's skin. I want to make sure it does blend in. And what I will do is just keep adding green stuff to oops, the front of this. And I'm going to bring this just up to the top of the mouth like that and I just want to blend this in carefully now I kind of know the look that I'm going for with this sculpt and it might take a little bit of time to get the exact shape that I'm looking for. And what I probably want to add is oops, a tongue to this as well. the idea of kind of like a ridiculously open mouth rather than just a kind of a small sculpt on the mouth I want it to kind of be over exaggerated as if This is a boss kind of zombie. Something's unique with this one. Alright, 
So what I'm looking to do is get a position where I can sculpt some teeth into there. Apologies, just helping the old dog up onto the sofa. But yeah, apologies if I'm rambling while doing this one. I just want to kind of get the look that I want by moving this mouth around. So, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and make a tongue and see how that comes out. So I'm going to do that onto this sculpting tool and let's, oops. that might be a little bit too wide so let me just cut that in half fiddly this little bit okay Sorry if this out focus while I try and work this to the right sort of shape. Okay. So this is going to be the tricky bit, getting this little tongue inside the mouth. What I need to do is just get it on the end of the sculpting tool, there we go. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Sculpt the back of the throat slightly. I'm gonna I wanna get some teeth in here now. So the way that I'm going to try and do that is get a little bit of green stuff and try not to lose it. There it is, get that little blob there. And I'm going to put it in place, and what I'll do is use my scalpel blade to try and make that into some kind of teeth shape. That's kind of working how I want it to. Okay, that's kind of what I'm looking for there. So obviously it's going to get painted and look the kind of how I want it to. But I just want to pull this down. So I almost want that kind of a yawning scream or kind of a guttural there we go, that's it. Just bringing it down slightly like that. That's worked. Okay. So, like the lower jaw's almost completely lost. And we get that 
shape there. So what I want to do now is sort out this arm. So as it's past the elbow, let's try and make a few bits to become what was the bones. I kind of want it just to be quite finish what I was saying then. I kind of want it to look gory. I'm going to be painting a lot of the gore on. But I do want some bits to look like the remains of bone or something like that. Actually, let's bring this one around. So the story behind this plague zombie ogren I'm kind of thinking it's either in the Imperial Guard or in a gang on Necromunda and there was a plague zombie attack and its ammunition ran out on its ripper gun and it tried to fight off the remaining zombies but didn't win it kind of got torn apart it's lost an arm there's a few other details that I want to sculpt into it as well Let's just bring that down. and then painting this up I'm going to try and do a similar kind of paint scheme to my other plague zombies. Uh, leave a link in the description to a video where I talk about those in my head swap video. If you haven't seen that, it's a quick little video that you can check out. Yeah, just kind of. Okay. I'm happy with that arm torn off there. Now there's a few other details that I want to do. On the back here, where I scraped off a metal pad, I want to put a wound of some kind. And to do that, I've had the idea of getting some green stuff in there and let's just flatten it out to merge it with the surrounding area I've got to be careful not to hit the green stuff that I've already sculpted open like that and obviously I'm going to add blood and stuff when I paint it but I like the idea of there being a wound on his back maybe it was his gang mates or something like that saw he was turning into a plague zombie and then thought we got to cut his head off or something and then we're unsuccessful at doing that I'm kind of thinking this little bit that I'm putting in at the moment is maybe a bit of spine or something like that which is now protruding from the wound 
I'm kind of doing this quite freehand. Normally I'd use some reference material, but I'm kind of just winging it for this one. Okay. And one thing I do need to do, the way that this Chaos Ogre in, its strap was actually connected to metal to its back, but I actually want to put a strap going round to the other side here. So to do that, I'm just going to roll out some more green stuff. And I want to roll it out flat, so I'm doing that off camera, so I get a nice flat finish. Let's bring that up, and then it's going to stick to. Oops. fingers which isn't what I want. Okay, perfect. So I just want to pat it gently into place first. got it in place. Just going to use another sculpting tool to kind of line it up and straighten the edge. And there's good, a lot of this detail is going to be painted anyway, so don't have to worry too much about all the details as long as I get the bits lined up as I'm thinking. Okay. So let me do a bit more work on the back just there. So when I paint that, that'll work out. Okay, let's have a look. What I want to do is bring... There we go. That's better. Okay. have a little look. I'm not going to worry about the gaps and things like that in it actually. Looking at the way that's come out. What I might do let's have a little look. I might add a few more details later on but for now I'm going to call it. So as you can see just to recap what I've done I've painted, sorry, I've sculpted this mouth with the tongue kind of lolling out. I've got the torn off arm with what looks like bones sticking out. I've put that strap around 
the Ogryn holding up the shoulder pad, and then I've got this kind of this scar, this wound on the back. Just play around with a little bit. But for now, yeah, I'm going to call that. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of me sculpting these details in place. Like I said, I'm going to do a few more Plague Zombie videos in the next couple of weeks, building up the horde. But I thought this is quite nice having a big guy to kind of mingle in there. I'll come up with some rules for them as well, just to maybe come up with a fun scenario or something. But for now, thanks for tuning in. My name's John, and you've been watching War Games Models and other hobbies.